Hello friends and welcome back to the Scrapbook and Cards Today YouTube channel. This is Victoria Calvin and I am sharing a 12 by 12 inch layout featuring a beautiful cut file from the one and only Paige Evans. And along with this cut file, I'm using some goodies from the Welcome Winter Collection by Cartabella. The main color in this collection is blue, which is gonna go great for my winter themed photos. So here's the cut file I'll be working with, Snow Much Fun, and this is perfect for the story that I wanna document. A couple of years ago, it snowed pretty heavily here in the North Texas area, which it doesn't always do. But I snapped these photos of my daughter playing in the snow, making snow angels. I resized the photos to three by three square because I wanna nestle them at the top and at the bottom of that cut file. I grabbed some pattern paper to create a background and notice that I cut out the middle of this particular pattern paper that is navy blue. It might be showing up black here on screen, but it is navy blue with dots and it kind of reminded me of snow. I also trimmed down a piece of white texture cardstock to 11 by 11 inches and I want to use that pattern paper to kind of frame out the layout. Now using the middle part of that pattern paper along with some scraps that I had used from this collection, I'm going to cut out and back the letters in the cut file. Now I cut this with my Cricut Explore Air 2 and you can use a cut file with any electronic cutting machine. The cut files by Paige Evans are usually available in several file extensions from an SVG to a PNG, PDF, and so forth. Now typically when I'm working with a cut file, I like to select three papers to start out with. And so what I did was I took the middle section of the letters from Snow Much Fun, and I'm using some temporary adhesive to mount the letter on a piece of pattern paper. That way I can trim it out to the size of the letter. And I'm cutting it slightly bigger so that the pattern paper will adhere to the cut file. And to do that, I am using some adhesive glue from Barely Art to adhere the letters to the back of the cut file. Now I kind of like to do a test run to make sure that I have the pattern papers in the order that I want them to be. I thought I would vary the order of the pattern paper but I totally forgot I was listening to music and kind of <laughs> in the creative zone. So the pattern papers will follow the same order as you'll see on the first row of, uh, of letters that spell out snow. So again, just added some temporary adhesive to the back of that letter, adhered it to some pattern paper, and I'm trimming it out, trying to leave a little bit of a border, cutting it out slightly bigger so that it will adhere, adhere to the cut file. Now the cut file, I used some white texture cardstock. I really wanted the letters or the pattern paper to pop, and so you can cut it out using you know pattern cardstock or different color cardstock if you want to, but I thought that the white worked perfectly for this particular layout. Once I kind of got into a groove, I went ahead and added temporary adhesive to the rest of the letters and start cutting out the pattern paper that I need. And this actually didn't take too long once I got into the process. Again, trimming those letters, leaving a little bit of a border so it'll adhere to the cut file. And I'll repeat this process for all of the letters. Now that all of the letters are backed, this is what it looks like. And I could have varied the pattern paper for the word much and fun, but I wasn't quite paying attention, but it looks lovely just as it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on the background. I'm leaving the snowflakes empty because I really kind of like that tone on tone look of the white background against the white snowflakes. And I do want this to have a little bit of dimension. So I'm taking some foam tape from scrapbook.com and I'm adding that to the back of the cut file so it gives it a little bit of height and dimension. And then my photos will be positioned at the top right and the bottom left. I'm just using some Tombow Mono adhesive, adhering the top photo. The bottom photo I'm going to pop up just a little bit with some foam, just to add some dimension down there to the bottom of the cut file. And I'm also making sure that I have the cut file positioned the way that I want. Now with cut files, you can resize them and you can alter them using whatever tools are available to you with your specific electronic cutting machine. Typically when I'm using a cut file like this, I like to leave the design as it is. I'm typically not going to customize it in any way other than resizing it. So I resized this to a little bit by nine by nine inches. So I had some white space around the cut file on my layout. Now it's time to embellish. And the cool thing about using pattern papers when you back a cut file is that you have a lot of texture and color and movement. So you don't need a ton of embellishing. So I'm going to use some of the remaining pieces in this collection. 
there's a little snow sled there at the bottom, which I thought was cute. This is not something that we use here in Texas because we don't get a lot of snow, but you know what? This layout's about snow, so we're going to put it on there. I have this chipboard uh, phrase that says winter. I'm going to pop that there at the top, just kind of an extension of the uh, the title, which of course is the cut file, Snow Much Fun. So I thought winter, snow much fun, why not? So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of foam adhesive on that chipboard piece and adhere it to the top. And I really love how that script from at the top of the cut file and at the bottom with the word uh, burr and kind of frames out the snow much fun cut file. I'm also going to add a little flag there at the top and then I have a little die cut that looks like a cocoa mug and I'm going to shop that around the layout but ultimately I'm going to put it there to the top right layout or the top right photo rather and then I have a little set of Christmas trees or just trees in general little winter trees that I'm going to put right by the sled. Now there's a pack of these flat back brads and I thought I was going to use a lot of these on here but I only actually just use one there at the top with the little banner just to add a little bit of texture there and dimension. I also want to put a snowflake in the middle so I have this snowflake die cut but then I have a glitter die cut from another project that I made for scrapbooking cards today and I thought that would be perfect to put that little glitter snowflake right there in the center of the O. I need to provide an anchor to this layout because it felt like the elements were just going to fall off the page. So I trimmed out a piece of cardstock from the collection and just added that straight to the bottom. It's probably about a half an inch by 11 inches. I make sure to trim that up so it's flush from edge to edge. And then to finish out this layout, I added some journaling. I simply typed that using Microsoft Word and I cut out the little journaling strips and I'm just adhering them and it says, uh, essentially my daughter was you know playing in the snow but then of course it got too cold and we went inside it was record cold temperatures and so paired with not only the wind chill but the cold snow we were only out playing for just a little bit before we went inside to have some hot cocoa and to warm up so this is the completed project featuring the snow much fun cut file from Paige Evans make sure that you check it out and use that on your winter themed projects you can also head to the scrapbook and cards today blog to see still photos of this project and make sure you join us for more creative inspiration here on the scrapbook and cards today youtube channel